Hey, good morning. Rise and shine. It is Friday. Blessed, blessed Friday. We made it to the weekend. Praise the Lord. Oh, man. Did you guys have a good thirsty Thursday? Mine was uh, very eventful, to say the least, okay? <laughs> nah, I had a good Thursday. It was great. You know, uh, no uh, troubles at, at uh, work. Uh, everything was running smoothly there. Uh, I came home and uh, uh, some more work was done on uh, my house here. Uh, they put up some more lattice on the other side of the house. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take any pictures yesterday because I also have my furnace guy here. I'm getting a new furnace put in, getting rid of uh, the coal stoker, as they call it. Yeah, I run coal in this house. Uh, for those of you that are new to my YouTube page and uh, you campers over there, uh, over here in Tower City, this is a, a little coal town, if you want to call it that, and uh, there's still quite a few of us that uh, have coal delivered to the house, and uh, that's how we heat the house, you know. I've been doing that for uh, 15 years here, you know. When I first moved here, I thought it was, wow, this is cool, you know, going back in time. Oh, yeah, it was cool for a while, but now that I'm much older, it ain't so cool anymore. <laughs> it's, it's labor intense to make sure that that fire, you know, keeps on heating the house and the water and things like that. And, but, uh, yeah, I made a decision, uh, I guess, a month ago, and I called the guy up that, uh, his name's Joe. I called Joe up and I uh, said, Joe, uh, I think it's time to get rid of the, the coal furnace and, uh, he worked up uh, some numbers for me, and he's putting an oil furnace in for me. So, But now I'm watching the price of fuel here. Jesus. But they're going to get us either way, you know. Uh, for coal per ton, I'm paying right now, well, last season, I should say, it was $230 per ton 15 years ago to have it delivered per ton was ninety dollars per ton delivered okay so um, gasoline here in Pennsylvania <laughs> and I'm sure it's going up all over this great United States of America but uh, it the average price here in Pennsylvania is three dollars and seven cents per gallon and it's still gonna keep on rising for a while uh, so uh, just be aware of that, people, especially you people that have your motorhomes and, uh, you know, campers that you're towing around. That's the only thing that bothered me when I was running my motorhome. I, on an average, I'm getting uh, seven miles to the gallon, and I'm sure you guys can relate to that, too, you, you people that have your motorhomes, you know. Don't forget to get a uh, Powerball, or excuse me, both. A Powerball and a Mega Million today, all right? The uh, Mega Million is up words of uh, 400 plus million dollars, okay? And uh, the Powerball is up there too. Not quite that high, but I'll take either one. And since I'm reminding you guys, if you didn't get a ticket yet, okay, and you do buy one, I'll say it again. Since I reminded you, I would like a finder's fee if you happen to become the winner, okay? All I'm, all I'm asking for is $1 million after the taxes are paid for, okay? I think that's a pretty good deal, you know, since I'm reminding you guys to get a, a mega million. All right, let's put down some coffee, folks. I got to get ready and hit the road here and go to work. What am I doing this weekend? Um, oh, I got a... My uh, oil tank was delivered yesterday for my f furnace. I got to kind of move that around, and uh, I got to move some of my uh, musical equipment out of the area where the oil tank is going. So I got to take care of that. And uh, I got a uh, Purdue oven stuffer chicken. I'm putting that on my Weber charcoal kettle grill, and I got a rotisserie attachment for it, and I'm going to uh, 
do a rotisserie chicken. I've done a few like that on my uh, uh, Weber grill charcoal, okay? And, uh, man, it turns out good. I think what I'll do, uh, uh, if the weather's nice tomorrow and I'm uh, rotisserieing, if that's a, a word, I'll videotape some of that. Uh, I mean, it, it just, the picture of that bird just, you know, going in circles, right? And uh, as it browns up in that, oh, it just looks so pretty. I've done Cornish game hens uh, on the uh, rotisserie. They're also good, too, you know. All right, enough of my babbling, all right? I hope you guys uh, had a few minutes here to, to put down some coffee or tea or whatever your favorite morning beverage is. I'll talk to you guys later on. Um, I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like here today. Uh, it's supposed to be somewhat uh, a little bit less humid than it was yesterday. I think we have a chance of uh, showers. Uh, they're talking for showers for tomorrow being Saturday. But uh, let me know what kind of weather you guys got coming in uh, wherever you're at, okay? And feel free to comment on my uh, YouTube video. Uh, subscribe to it if you're new to this. And make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. That way every time I do one of these, it'll annoy you and say, Warzy made another video if you care to watch it. <laughs> All right, guys. That's about it for right now. Uh, my buddy, look, look he's, uh, he's uh, in place like he always is. If you can see him there, all right? He's close to the dads. Yep, there we go. There you go. Yeah. <coughs> he's close to the dad's chair or a stool. He's got to protect that thing for the dad. You know that. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys later on. I do love you. Honest to God, I do. Keep on smiling. Help somebody out if you can, all right? Be good to your family because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. And remember, how bad we think that we have it, remember, somebody else always has it worse than we do. And thank your God for another day on earth. I'll talk to you guys later on. I do love you guys. Smile. Cheers and nostalgia. <laughs>